Bibb County reached a milestone today in its fight against blight. 150 houses torn down. Anthony Montalto brings us an update on the project and the history behind house number 150. Behind me is house number 150 in the fight against blight by Macon Bibb County, but one neighbor tells me that there's also a lot of history behind this house too. If we live in the family house. California transplant Gregory Alberts lived on Lily Avenue for 18 years. My wife has actually lived here all of her life. And he says that's the story for a lot of people who live there. People moved here in the 60s, 70s. 849 Lily Avenue is no different. This family moved here around 1966 when this neighborhood was being built. Uh, they were one of the first families. Day in and day out, a family member was at this house, the family house. Until the unfortunate incident here with the fire, which took the life of one of the family members. That happened about three years ago. Albert says it's been vacant ever since, so the county put it on its list of houses to demolish. Bibb County Code Enforcement Director J.T. Ricketson explains Mayor Lester Miller's criteria. Abandoned houses that are near our schools, near our churches, near a senior center or a rec center, and also abandoned houses that are in clusters on, say, one street or in one neighborhood. He says Miller worries about people getting hurt if they get too close to those houses. Albert agrees and thinks it's a great idea, but he does have a question. What happens from here? Uh, from what I hear is I haven't heard what's going to happen from here. I just hear that they're tearing down houses. Ricketson says this house was on list number three of homes that they plan to demolish, but he says he's already working on list number eight. In Macon, Anthony Montalto, 13 WMAC News. JT Ricketson says the county has plans to sell some of the properties once ownership is turned over to them.